Hi, and welcome to the Adventure Park. My name is John Hines. I'm the park manager and the owner. Operating an Adventure Park in this COVID-19 situation requires the co cooperation of all of my staff as well as each of you as a guest. The primary experience of the Adventure Park has always been one around individual challenge and achievement. So it really lends itself to social distancing. So the experience this year will be very much like you've had in the past, but there will be a few important changes, especially on the ground. So please follow along while I go over some of the changes that we've made to policies, practices, practices and procedures that are designed to enhance the safety of everyone here at the Adventure Park. The first thing that we've done is we've dramatically lowered the overall capacity of the park so there'll be far fewer people here at any one time. This is being done in accordance with industry recommendations and guidelines set down by the state and the county. The next thing we've done is we've gone totally touchless. We've always encouraged people to make reservations. Now we require you to make a reservation. You can do so online or you can call our office number and we'll make it for you over the phone. Uh, so when you arrive, you'll be fully paid and we'll know you're coming. You'll also receive a link to the waiver. You must fill that out before you get here. That way you don't have to play with iPads or, or anything here in the park. Also, in keeping with our touchless approach, we're no longer accepting cash at the Adventure Park. Your reservations are paid by credit card in advance and in the park store and the food truck, we're also accepting only credit cards. All right, things you need to know when you arrive. Please bring a face mask that you are comfortable wearing. We require face coverings in certain high traffic areas of the park and at all times when social distancing cannot be maintained. As you come down from the parking lot, look for the Adventure Park check-in tent. At the tent, you will receive your tickets and you will also receive a, one, a, a pair of one-time use gloves that can be disinfected with the little bottle of disinfectant we're also gonna give you. If you pre-purchase leather climbing gloves as part of your reservation, they'll be waiting for you at the check-in desk as well. We used to be a park with very simple rules. Now we allow alcohol, but only spraying on your hands. Okay, rule number one. If you have not been feeling well in the last two weeks and have exhibited any signs or any symptoms of COVID, or if you know you've been exposed to anyone with COVID in the last two weeks, please don't come climbing. Okay, rule number two. When you arrive, we're gonna treat your arrival group as, as an arrival pod. It's our social distancing pod. We figure if you're living with them and if you came with them in the same car, you guys are okay together. So as an arrival pod, you will go through the arrival, the briefing, the harnessing and the practice lines and all the way up onto the main platform. Once you're out on the course, you may lower your face covering until you cross paths with somebody who is not in your arrival pod or you have to have a close interaction with anybody on my staff. While guests are on the ground, we ask that you continue to use your mask and social distance whenever you're in high traffic areas or when social distancing is not possible. You will see that I've asked my staff to abide by the same rules that we're asking all of the guests to abide by. I've also equipped my staff with the proper PPE as recommended by our industry and the state and the county. That's going to include a face mask or face shield, and at sometimes a full face shield when they have to be in close, such as during a harness check or any kind of an assist out on the course. We've also added hand washing stations and hand sanitizing stations throughout the park. These are for your convenience. And for those of you who have been here before, will be quite a luxury compared to what we've had in the past. We've also scattered the picnic tables throughout the park to allow small groups to social distance and enjoy a, a little picnic. You'll also see that my staff will be regularly 
sanitizing the picnic tables and all touch surf high touch surfaces in the store, porta johns, etc. Also, it's important to know that the harness that you're handed and the clips that you're handed are sanitized and have been cleaned before your use. We've worked with industry professionals and the manufacturers to make sure that we're using the right protocols to provide the best experience for you. One final note. The rules that we've put in place concerning masks and social distancing are rules. They're not recommendations or suggestions. They're based on the commitments that I've made to my staff and to their families and all of you to try and create as safe an experience as we possibly can during this crazy time. So please cooperate and have an extraordinary adventure. Thanks.